10 days air pollution levels in the capital have only become worse despite the fact that diwali has come and gone we all know by now that it is mostly seasonal stubble burning that turns the capital into a gas chamber every time this year what is shocking though that despite all promises the new aam aadmi party government in punjab has failed miserably to control these farm fires remember till before coming to power the aam aadmi party in delhi used to blame farm fires in punjab for delhi pollution now they've gone silent but their agricultural minister in punjab has come out completely rubbishing the fact that punjab has any role to play in delhi's air if you look at the numbers it is clear that farm fires are the biggest from punjab almost 80% of all stubble burning which was reported till october 20 in october 30 was coming from stubble burning incidents reported from one state alone that's the state of punjab and even within the state of punjab most farm fires take place in seven districts yet the government is unable to act on it but that's not all versus that the help sent from center to stop stubble burning is wasted even as citizens suffer hazardous air pollution levels punjab got 47% of all funding from center to manage crop residue that is a total of 1147 crore rupees were given to punjab alone from 2018-19 to 2021-22 stubble burning though has increased in punjab this year versus last year if you compare the same months and the same days Environment Ministry has said that 1.2 lakh machines most of them to deal with crop residue remain idle in Punjab. In its note it has said utilization of available machinery is very poor in Punjab. It has also gone on to say that bio decomposer application has not been facilitated in Punjab it was much touted by the government especially in the national cap. So the big question we ask now is even as pollution is peaking yet another year why is Punjab unable to stop stubble burning? and this question also arises is because there is now a comparison being dropped from uh, be- between punjab and haryana where in haryana if you compare the data from last year to this year till now the farm fires are coming down in punjab they are rising को आग लगती है पानी पत रोत आप मेरे को ये बताओ उसका तुम्हारा पहले दिल्ली पहुंचता है कि जो डेरा डेरा बाबा नानक रासपुर अमृतसर को लगती है उसका पहुंचता है क्या भी करे पंजाब की पराली का प्रदूषण दिल्ली नहीं पहुंचता नहीं पहुंचता आप जाके दिखाओ मेरे को यार जिनका पहुंचता है जो दिल्ली के साथ है दिल्ली के नेड़े है आप उनकी बात नहीं कर रहे Delhi has been made a gas chamber by part-time CM Arvind Kejriwal because of his complete failure in ensuring that the causes of pollution are tackled. In Punjab, there is continuous burning of parali. Thirteen thousand plus incidents have taken place. Shazia Almi of the BJP continues with us. Abhi Nandita Mathur of the Aam Aadmi Party is now joining us. I'm joined by Aman Sharma, senior editor CNN News 18 and bureau chief of news18.com. He's done stories on the parali situation in Punjab. Ashish Jain is founder Indian Pollution Control Association. Dr. Puneet Khanna, consultant and HD of respiratory medicine at CMCT Manipal Hospital Dwarka all joining us and I thank you for your time. I go across to the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson first up. News report after news report Abhi Nandita is indicating that there is a lot of funding that has gone on to the punjab government over the last few years more than any other state possibly double more than any other state has received and yet farm fires are increasing in punjab day on day week on week till we can compare the data till now why is the punjab government failing so miserably thanks good evening you know first of all i'd like to assure your uh, viewers that the aam aadmi party is committed to one acknowledging the problem and finding a solution to it so there is no passing the buck here you know we we hope to we aim to actually take full responsibility and act, do something about pollution along with all other stakeholders there is no shying away from this i would like to assure you this uh, right at the beginning uh, as far as punjab is concerned and stubble burning is concerned you know there are measures that we are putting in place uh, that may require some more time uh, and that you know the 
the uh, the hotline service has been set up there are different other measures the biggest plant has been set up and so on and we are hoping that things will improve however we must also at the same time in the same breath you know acknowledge the fact that this is a national crisis this is not only pertinent to delhi or punjab or haryana or but there is also up and many other indian states that their contribution to uh, the crisis. stubble burning is a national is emergency their contribution i understand that it's a it's a situation that prevails in many states and we've talked about that but i'm talking about punjab because one the aam aadmi party was very vociferous in claiming that they will be able to solve this situation when they come to power you've had time you know that this happens every october november so can you give me details of what you've done including the money that you've spent and where all secondly let's not compare this to all other states because it's not comparable the situation of stubborn burning is far worse in punjab than in any other state right now you know there are as far as the uh, as far as the steps that we have taken i will come to that and i can list out the steps that we have they are also available in the media and on our websites and i will uh, you know throw more light on that um but having said that i must uh, you know i must point out that we are also a new government and you are right that there is no uh there is no getting away from the responsibility however you know we would need some more time uh i think that the public also understand it these pro- solutions need some long term i mean these problems need some long term and genuine solutions this is not something that can you know just be uh you know said in the air and we are very committed to it i think that one thing that you cannot take away from it from us is that we are not in at least we are not in denial of the problem and we are sincerely Since going to say do that i mean anita i played out the bite of your agricultural minister in punjab as the prelude yeah. to this debate do you know what he said to cnn news 18 today you talk about denial he said the uh, the situation from punjab cannot choke delhi they have nothing to do with the situation in delhi you're telling me about denial well what he means and what i mean by not denying is that you know we are here and addressing the problem and he's not he's saying not, he's denying the problem yeah yeah now the problem is that you know what i think what he implies is that you know this is not the only contributing factor he is trying to you know be um, be in uh, uh, collaborate with you know with the farmers there and basically you, you know, know ma'am, take, abhi you know, i'm sorry to say but your agriculture minister in punjab has not said that this is not the only contributing factor he's gone on to say things like and i'm running his statements to cnn news 18 on our screen that farm fires from punjab are not the reason that uh, delhi is choking smoke from amritsar cannot even reach delhi this is what he is saying this is utter denial of the situation let shazia elmi come in the question the aam aadmi party faces today is because when they weren't in power in punjab they made tall claims that they can solve this situation they didn't say yes this is a national issue they didn't say no you know this situation will take 5 years to solve they said we will come into power and solve this situation sure and this was one of the big promises even for the delhi government which by any measure is not a new government at all it has been in power for 8 years and we know the track record of what they have done in delhi vis-a-vis environment and pollution and i can give you so many figures and i can also quote not just the uh, uh, the hearings uh, that have taken place in the delhi high court but also i mean the many times that arvind kejriwal's government has been wrapped on its knuckles by the national green tribunal now i i think the the standard uh, excuse for them is uh, has become obfuscation and lying but there has to be accountability uh, you know when it comes to 1300 crores of rupees which has been the allocated amount by the center to punjab state followed with it is 693 crores which has been given to haryana now let's look at all the incidents of stubble burning so and i think we need to tell the the uh, the agriculture minister of punjab and also bhagwant man that you know they must take a break from that sharab mafia and bade dino ke baad mili ye daru aur jahan char yaar mil jaye wahi raat ho gulzar and actually look at it very seriously that 13873 stubble burning incidents have taken place in punjab which is actually almost a 34 increase percent increase in stubble burning this year alone mm. and that impacts delhi and all of us and delhi also has an aam aadmi party government which has uh, which has been wrapped on its knuckles and i told you various times and i can give you a list of those but look at the answer there is just complete shamelessness brazenness 
and denial and obfuscation. Okay. Let's talk Can about I... UP. Let's talk about uh, Haryana. Let's talk about Karnataka. Why not Punjab with the stubble burning is happening? Which is sitting on so much money. What has happened to the money that has been yeah, given so to Yeah, so I was going purpose? to take that question to what my colleague Aman. To the, cis, to the 1200 cis crore rupees that have been given. In fact, most of the machines lie idle. And I don't think Punjab government has denied that. They've accepted that, you know, these machines haven't been distributed uh, properly. But before that, uh, can I just go to uh, Abhinandita one more time? You said that there is public information of the money we've spent and the steps we've taken. Could you take 30 seconds, uh, Ms. Mathur, and just elaborate these steps that you've taken, the money that you've allocated particularly to this problem? What steps have you taken? What uh, results have these yielded? Abhinandita, that was for you. Okay, let me try one more time. Abhinandita, if you can hear me, you said there are multiple steps the Punjab government has taken as far as solving this situation is concerned. Could you enlist them for me? Not sure if she can hear me or not, but Aman, let me come to you. There are reports after reports that in Haryana, fine fires are going down. In Punjab, they are going up year on year to the data that we can compare for these months. And then the 1,200 crore rupees were given just to Punjab, nearly 50% of all of the centers grant to various states. And most of the machines that were uh, procured or sent to Punjab to deal with crop residue, they're all lying idle. See, Shivani, I call it a vicious cycle of pollution in Delhi. What happens is that when, as you correctly say, when the AAP government was there in Delhi and when there was a Congress government in Punjab, Mr. Kejriwal was blaming Punjab for these double fires and the smoke coming to Delhi. Hmm. If you look at the manifesto of the AAP government, when it contested the Punjab election, there was a line that Punjab will give incentives to farmers who do not burn stubble. So the formula of AAP government in Punjab was to give financial incentives to farmers. There was a grant of rupees 2500 which was announced that 1500 rupees will be given by the center, 1000 rupees, 500 rupees each by Delhi and Punjab government. That never took off hmm. because the center is of the view that we have given, as you correctly say, 1.2 lakh machines to Punjab government to treat the paddy stubble in hmm. the fields and it's not burnt. Now the problem is when the financial incentive center said no because you, there's no way to monitor that financial incentive, Punjab and Delhi also did not give that incentive. So in a way no money has been given to the farmer, the, all the hope was on the machines. But the problem with the machines is that the deployment of the machines has to be done by the Punjab government. There's mm. a very small window between harvest and the sowing of the next yeah. crop. The machines need to reach the field in time. Mm. The complaint of the farmers, our team has traveled to Punjab and the perennial complaint of the farmers is that the machine does not reach them on time. If it reaches the village, it does not, it is not enough to cater to all farmers and by the time you know the machine reaches them, the uh, the window is gone and they have to harvest. The and Punjab agricultural minister also in his interview said, we've got no help from the centre. No, that is not true. I think the machines have gone, but it is not Apple seed. Punjab this year, uh, Shivani also went a lot, lot of focus, Mr. Bhagwantman gave on the awareness model. Mm -hmm. That we'll go and educate the farmers as please don't be in stubble. But you, as you see, the figures don't show that. In fact, the Sangru district, the home constituency of uh, CM Bhagwantman, hmm. is reporting the highest number of farm fires. Exactly. So the CM has not been able to convince his own constituents to not burn uh, hmm. a paddy stubble. In a way, that has flopped. And the, the figures, I think the rise in 35% rise in farm fires show hmm. that Punjab government has a lot, lot, to, lot to answer in this uh, particular episode. Yeah, absolutely. Episode. Especially now that you have the same government in Delhi and Punjab, which you touted as some sort of a solution to this problem because you claim that there is bickering happening between various parties and their governments. That's why this doesn't get solved. In any case, I want to bring in Ashish Jain. My question to the Amandi party spokesperson stands. But Ashish Jain, you know, there is indeed a problem emerging where, you know, we are being unable to get those solutions to the farmers or convince them to <clears throat> use those solutions. How do you think we bridge that gap? Yeah. So there, there is a gap, uh, means uh, farmer, uh, the, uh, means uh, creating awareness, educating the farmers. The time has gone. Now the time has come when we need uh, action on the ground. So as uh, uh, my colleague uh, Aman said, uh, the machine was procured, but it was not distributed on time. So this distribution of machine and uh, the training on the machine need to be happened two months back. We were uh, we were very well aware that uh, October will come, wind speed will so slow down and temperature will get, uh, slow down and uh, it will create a favorable condition for the pollutant to get stuck in Delhi climate. So we need to prepare ourselves two months before. This is not the right time to uh, to distribute machine. When we uh, uh, there is a very less time with the farmers, they need to sow their next crop. And uh, so creating awareness is not enough. We need a much, uh, much needed action on the ground and uh, 
provided machine provided uh, uh, infrastructure facilitate the farmers to uh, and connect them with the industry so that we can reduce the crop burning or farm burning yeah. uh, although it's at only 21% contribution to daily air pollution so uh, we can't just blame uh, the uh, farm burning sure. uh, for the the severe condition of uh, air quality in delhi we also need to look after the uh, traffic uh, traffic congestion in delhi uh, yeah. because no, all of those uh, questions still persist all of the questions we've yeah. been asking ourselves of the delhi government yeah. and the punjab government neighboring states governments they all persist what has been done on the uh, pollution front and i will take that Nothing. to our aam aadmi party representative again because in delhi too there is a perennial <laughs> pollution problem so it's not as if that this this is just about these months but can i just say that because we did blame there was a section that did blame diwali for this pollution that section yeah. needs to also own up that it isn't yeah. happening because of diwali and fire cracker burning but i leave that to another day aman the issue that i'm also sensing is that there is also a reluctance on the part of the farmers and the question is now beginning to be asked is that is it fair of the farm class especially the rich farm class in punjab to completely pull their hands up not work with the governments not work with the system Uh, with the local authorities to solve a solution because most farmers that are here just say we don't have any option see exactly when awareness does not work hmm. then penal action has to come into the play you know you you can't be a spectator to farm uh, farm with the paddy field being set on fire the government has to act there are provisions for the government to act and but what uh, but does Punjab, can punjab furnish how many farmers they have acted against hmm. for burning the stubble there are 14 13 14000 fires now hmm. uh, how much percentage of farmers you know it's not that nobody knows which the which uh, for, you know field is burning green yeah. from a distance i'm sure the local officials know but see the farmers also know this shivani that there will be no action against them even yeah, if so they burn the stubble that that feeling is there in the farmer that no government will act against them in fact farmers have sat on a dharna outside the house of bhagwant man in sangrur yeah. saying that past cases should be taken back in a way so you know uh, farmers know it won't uh, no government is going to go after them so it's either, as i said it's a vicious cycle farmers say that you know we can't do a help anything till the machine comes to us and our government thinks that the only solution is giving cash in the hand of the farmers to treat the stubble on his own that is not going to happen okay definitely. can i bring in abhinandita back before i go across to the doctor on our panel too abhinandita i ask you one more time what is the step that the government has taken in punjab on your own can you enlist them for me what is the action and the money allocated for it Do you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. You know there are there are actually couple of things that have emerged in this conversation. One part is that what are the contributing factors in Delhi, and there is beyond. It is beyond Parali as well, but we can come to that later. I'll answer your question. There are a number of measures. The first thing that we are trying to do, and you have to remember that the farmers of this country have been going through a real crisis in the last couple of years. You know, so to take everybody along, plus the uh, you know unscheduled rains that happened and so on, there is a challenge. We are not denying that there is a challenge. And one of the biggest thing I think that the Ahmadni Party government has able has been able to do in Punjab is to win back the trust. Of no, the Abhinandita, farmers. you're not answering my very direct question. What is the step you've taken? What is the measure? What is the, the money allocated? Just answer my simple question. Twenty-five hundred rupees, you know, just a little sum. uh for compensation because it is a national crisis but the center wouldn't do it regardless it is our responsibility you know we have got a huge mandate in punjab and now that we have won the trust of i think that this has to be a holistic solution you know on the other hand we have tried to run some uh, awareness campaigns which is taking time the machines that you know somebody in the panel was seeing were actually reached us much like pretty late and it is taking time to you know distribute them there is no doubt that it is our responsibility i am repeatedly saying that the aam aadmi party both in delhi and punjab are committed to finding a solution we do need a bit more time and we will prove we will walk the talk and we will prove that we are going to find a solution in uh, you know collaboration with the, all the stakeholders including the farmers Now, okay. where what are the other contributing factors in Delhi? No, one second. I want to go across to Dr. Puneet Khanna, yeah. who is a pulmonary a respiratory uh, expert. You know, we all know this. This problem Delhi has been facing over the last seven, eight years. Every time at the onset of winter, we've all, of course, educated ourselves of the danger of what is happening in the national capital air. Can you, you know, still describe to us the dangers? 
to every Delhiite and even around in the NCR region because of the air we are breathing. I mean, this is turning out, yes, this is a national crisis. Yes, everybody needs to come together. But we see more political blame game and a lethargy of the system than actually acting on it. Yeah, I completely agree. See, the thing is, the cutting across party lines, I don't think uh, the administrators or the stakeholders are giving uh, this major problem, uh, you know, a due importance. We have seen a huge surge in patients of asthma, patients of lung diseases coming back to us in the OPD because of this uh, tremendous increase in worsening of the air quality in last few days. And I, I feel that it's not just, uh, you know, uh, the fire burning itself. It's the combination of all the factors. The, mm. uh, you know, the temperature has gone down. The vehicular pol uh, pollution is there. But in addition to this, addition of uh, this parali uh, and the problem uh, due to this farm fire is adding to the catastrophe. And we are forced to, you know, live in this gas chamber for so many years. People do not understand that, you know, now there's an additional burden of, a huge number of uh, people who have suffered from COVID-related ailments of the lung. Mm. And now they are coming back with the consequences of that, uh, you know, uh, pneumonia that they had during the COVID wave. And they are suffering because of this. I think everybody should need to, uh, you know, put their uh, acts together and solve this as soon as possible. That's yeah. all I can say. That seems to be harder done than said. Uh, Shazi, I'll give you a final 30 seconds. You've heard what the Amadmi Party is saying. They need more time. They also need a concerted effort. This is not something they can do alone. Can you respond to that? Well, of course, and nobody wants them to do, a lo uh, to do anything alone. But the fact of the matter is, when there has been an allocation of funds and machinery for exactly this purpose, and not from uh, just uh, this year, since they came to power, but also, and, and there has been collection of pollution cess, which is actually a huge amount. And, and, and also because of the fact, and also the fact of the matter is that every year there has been, there have been committees uh, mo uh, and monitoring committees and National Green Tribunal uh, asking for accountability. Hmm. But uh, nothing has uh, happened so far. So it, it isn't about just Bhagwan Man government not uh, being able to deliver but an overall apathy uh, of, of this party and the proclivity to lie uh, and uh, deflect instead of addressing any real problem. Okay. Everything becomes a political murky game. But the fact of the matter is some, something has got to give. Uh, you have to start somewhere, show some work, implement and execute schemes instead of just crying wolf and making it about dirty politics. Well, one thing you know, is clear then, for any political to, party, uh, if you make tall claims complex. and if you, you know, uh, make accusations on other party governments that they are failing and not delivering, then the responsibility when you come to power will also be as great. And then you cannot say, oh, it takes time because you didn't give time to other governments. Every year there was a barrage of accusations on Punjab governments. And now after having time to prepare for this season... What excuses can the government give? But I have to leave it at that. This is something, of course, that will dominate headlines over the next few days. I do thank all of our guests for joining us. Time for a very short break. On the other side, the day's biggest stories.